Hey guys, welcome to my workshop. So in today's video, this is going to be the first of a long series of parts that I'm calling my tiny workshop remodel series. I did a miter saw station and I built that. I built also a workstation. You've seen that in videos, but I didn't record me doing it. I wanted to just kind of do it without the hassle of recording it. But I regret doing that. It was something where I wish I had taken you along that journey. So that's what I'm going to do. This is what I'm calling stage two of my workshop rebuild remodel. But it's going to be a series. You're going to follow me along on the journey of what I'm doing, the decisions that I'm making, and also just the a new look in my workshop. So when everything starts, when any sort of first project starts, either whether it's in the house or my workshop, I've always got to start with cleaning. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I kind of jumped forward, got everything off the walls, got everything opened up. You know, when I first moved into this house, there was this opening here, so I, I sort of opened that up thinking I actually might want to make maybe some inset shelving or storage there. That way it gives me a little bit more room here in this room. But boy, boy, you need know, to take things out and you just feel like the room is so much bigger. So I've got a lot of thinking to do. Uh, my original idea, I'm kind of not too sure on now. Uh, I wanted to maybe put some small cabinets coming off the wall here to house some things like my paints, my stains and things, but um, you know trying to conserve space in here I'm feeling like if I do that I'm losing wall space or I'm losing square foot you know square footage in this room. But if I go into this wall, which you know, I can't go all the way, I have a staircase it's like this, crossed here. So anything above this point, I can't do anything with, unless it's only going to be a four inch thick shelf, which is pointless to make. So I'm going to get this out. It's going to go in my, work, my uh, garage tomorrow, but just got some more thinking to do. Okay, so what I've decided to do is paint this wall. No, duh. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, so I've decided to paint it. Obviously, you can already tell, um, but I wanted to paint it all white just to make it blend in with the rest of my workshop. Okay, well, I've got one coat of paint on this wall now, so while this is drying, I'm going to turn my attention to this wall. I have decided against doing inset shelving on the upper part of my staircase here. Um, because from this point on it's only four inches deep there's really nothing I want to put on there I could put spray cans on there but I have a whole different idea with that so I'm gonna X that for now maybe someday I might come back and do that but underneath the staircase is a lot of wasted space and being that my workshop is very tiny I want to utilize all of the wasted space or areas where I'm not gonna be able to actually do work in for some sort of storage or for some sort of uh, holding just something big so in this case, we're going to focus on the compressor. So before I began doing this remodel process, my compressor was back here. As it would run, it would kind of jump around. It would actually end up vibrating in a whole different section. So I have decided to go this route and put it up here. I'm going to build an encasement around it, basically something where it'll quiet this down a little bit. This is a very quiet compressor anyways, but I want it to be a little quieter, so I'm going to surround it. Probably going to put some insulation on it, but I'm going to make it accessible because I do occasionally take it out for a side job or around the house. So I want to be able to reach it better versus going all the way around and reaching underneath my stairs, which is very difficult. I can just reach in, open a little door, pick it up, and roll out with it.
Okay, well, I have this completely enclosed now. Um, you know, at the beginning of this video, I said I wasn't going to use any repurposed wood, and it's obvious now that I've chosen to use some. And, you know, I decided that, you know, I have a lot of stuff laying around that's not getting used. I'm probably not going to use it for projects, so I might as well just use it in places that really simply are not just going to be seen, especially on videos or um, in my workshop. I'm not going to see it every day. So, this is all repurposed stuff that it used in different places in the house. I've actually used my old kitchen cabinet door for the back because it's three quarter inch plywood. I think I'm planning on doing something in the back, maybe some shelving or something, uh, just to give me a little bit more storage. I allowed the back to actually come up higher than the top of this, and that's so that if I do decide to put something on the top of this, it won't go falling off the back. But I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to even put things on top of this. In fact, what I'm probably going to do is go ahead and close this off. Just continue with this line that's already been there. Close this off. I did have a board in there already, so I'll probably throw that back in there. And then we're going to probably start on the bench. So Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap it up right now. This video isn't really too long, but I'm kind of at a point where I need to do some more thinking. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a sure, give sure please be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. If you've got any recommendations or things maybe you've done in your workshop that you really liked, let me know in the comments below. I would really love to hear about them. Right now, I'm in the stage of still building different things in here. I'm still brainstorming some different ideas, so I might take some of your ideas and actually run with them. But for some future videos, I'm going to be working on a bench that's going to allow me to do a lot of uh, chiseling, something I can just bang on without um, stuff falling off. I need a really good solid bench, so that's going to be a project. I've also got a storage unit kind of thing that I'm going to do on this wall, and that's primarily going to hold a lot of my paint cans, my stains, my finishes, uh, brushes, caulks, stuff like that. Um, because I really don't have a good place for it. This is where it was before, it just wasn't really stored very well. So I'll be looking for that in some future videos. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to be posting occasional different things on both. Primarily to see your reaction and get kind of your first opinion, some comments before I even make a video. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.